All right, what we have going on here is we're going to try to illustrate this first construction that we talked about in class today. If you missed class, if you were gone for Spanish or some other reason, then hopefully this will be helpful in understanding the basic ideas of constructions. So construction one deals with line segments. So we have a line segment AB here, and we also have a line segment CD. As you can tell, or hopefully should be able to tell, both of these segments are two different lengths. You can use your compass here, and this is a compass, to designate or to figure out what that length is. So if you wanted to measure the length of AB with your compass, you'd take your point of your compass, put that on the point A, and pull it apart until the lead or whatever pencil that you have matches up with B. So if you drew a little arc there, my compass now, the distance from point to lead, is the length AB. All right, you could do the same thing down here at CD and you have to make it smaller to make the length CD. So we've got a segment CD and we've also got a segment AB up here. Construction one basically is doing this. If you have some line segment or if you just have some arbitrary line, we've got a length down here. If I want to construct, say, another segment identical to AB, this is what it's going to look like. Let's say we have a starting point here. If I want to make a segment the same length as AB, use your compass here to figure out, all right, how far is the length from A to B? I'm drawing a little arc here just so that I can show, all right, that indeed does go through the point B. And now I start with my point down here on this big blue dot. That's going to essentially be the center of my circle, so to speak. And then I'm going to make an arc or strike an arc through this line. Now the length of this segment right here is going to be the length of the segment AB. If I wanted to do two ABs, I would say, all right, this would be one AB. Now pick up my point, put my point on, put my point on this right here, that intersection, and if I draw another arc right here, the length of this segment plus this segment would be twice AB, twice the length of AB or 2AB. Now let's say I wanted to do, to do AB plus CD. Now the length or the, of the segment AB plus CD is going to be very similar to what we did before. So as you can see we already have AB on here. So now if we add CD to it, let's figure out the length of CD. Take your compass measure it out, figure out what is the length of CD. So if you look at it, my compass should measure out to being the width of CD. I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it down here. So I'm going to have my point on the end of AB. And I'm going to add to it the length CD. So from this point here, that blue point, to if I make another blue dot here, this entire length right here is going to be AB plus CD because this here is AB, this segment here is CD, so we have AB plus CD. Now you could do any combinations of adding segments here, and uh, as long as you have some given length, like AB and CD, you just use that information to add and subtract uh, different line segments. Let's, let's say we wanted to do AB minus CD, so instead of AB plus CD, we're doing AB minus CD, so let's just make some guideline here. We're going to try to do AB minus CD. First, you want to start out with figuring out, all right, what is AB? So you're going back. Again, we're working with the same thing we had before. The length of AB, draw that on our blue segment here. Now, in order to subtract CD, we have to go back and figure what is CD. Again, we're just moving our compass back and forth to show what the length is. So this is going to be CD. If we want to subtract CD from AB, we know this whole part right here is C as AB. I want to subtract it from it. Let's start with the end point. This distance right here from point to here is going to be CD. So this here is CD. This whole thing is AB. This segment from here to here would be AB minus CD. We've got AB, we're taking CD away from it. 
So what are we left over with? This little segment right there. So hopefully this is illustrating and showing you how you can use your compass and your straight edge, your protractor or your ruler, as well as a pen and pencil to make different line segments depending on the length they're asking you to show.